All right, it is 616, 35 degrees. Now, if you head to George Mason University anytime soon, you might meet a professor with a pretty unique story. He was forced to leave his home country, and now he's finding refuge in Virginia. Our Evan Kozlov has the story. Dr. Arara Decipian may look like your typical professor. He works here at the Arlington campus of the George Mason University, where soon he's going to be teaching a class on corruption. But his backstory is a little different than your average teacher, and it starts 5,000 miles away. Ukraine is just a corrupt swamp, and uh, I don't think anyone is going to drain this swamp <laughs> anytime soon. It's a pretty strong opinion about his home country. <laughs> You see, there's been a conflict in eastern Ukraine since 2014. On one side of the war is a pro-Russian army. On the other, Ukraines. And in between are a lot of civilians. When there is a war, you know, people get killed. You are never safe. And that's why he's here, in Virginia. He's one of 13 professors being deemed endangered scholars. They're taken from trouble areas across the globe and brought to universities across the states. Something especially needed for someone like Osipian. Remember, he studies corruption, which he says makes him a target. There is no authoritarian regime in this world who enjoys uh, scholars who do work on corruption. As to why he continues to write book after book about corruption, knowing the risks, he says it's about getting the truth into the public record. And they will cite it 10 years from now and 20 years from now. Your words may outlast that authoritarian regime. I, well, I, I, yeah, I hope so. Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9. All right, Dr. Osipian will be at the university all year where he can work in peace. He'll start teaching this fall. And actually, we're going to do a new megaphone poll. Thanks to our director, Sam. Where would you rather live, Ukraine or Virginia? Weigh in with the hashtag GetUpDC. My all right, goodness. Time. <laughs>